Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you tell us who you are? My name is Todd Paulus. I'm the co-owner and one of the instructors at the Social Dance Studio in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you tell us a little bit about your dance studio? Social Dance Studio uh, was brought together about in 2000. Uh, so it's been together for a little over uh, 12 years. And the whole purpose of Social Dance Studio was to create a ballroom Latin dance studio that focuses primarily on social. Uh, so we weren't focused primarily on competition, gearing our students to compete. Our primary focus was to build a dance community. And actually it stemmed from salsa. That's where it all started. So the studio actually began as the focal point of salsa dancing in the Twin Cities. Um, it's wonderful. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs>
uh, in Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, and I was dancing for another studio there. Uh, I actually went there looking for a receptionist job because all I had done is some jazz dancing classes at the University of Arizona. And so I didn't have any experience in ballroom dancing, so I was expecting to be a receptionist. It would be cool to watch people dance and listen to music all day while I answer the phones. Mm -hmm. I needed extra money for school. And at that very moment that I walked in the door, the owners uh, pulled me back and interviewed me for about 45 minutes and said, you're going to be a dance instructor. And I said, <laughs> I have no idea how to dance. And they said, that's okay, we'll train you. Um, by November of 99, I took my first student. That's great. So you've been teaching since 99? Yes, yes I have, That's either with great. studios or independently. And then finally I decided to open up my own space. Not that I knew how to do it better than everybody else, but I kind of liked the idea of building the community, making it affordable for everybody. One of, my, one of the things I hated the most was when an extremely talented dancer would come in for lessons and we had to, they couldn't afford it and they had to leave and we never saw them again. And it just broke my heart because here this person is so much talent and so much ambition and there just wasn't enough money. And so my biggest thing was I wanted to open up a studio that would make it affordable for anybody to be able to dance. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Now, how long have you been competing in dance? Uh, let me see, I started in 99, I started competing in a, a year after that, after I was training and it was pro-am mostly. I didn't actually mm -hmm. have a professional partner probably until my third year of dancing. It, took, it takes a while to find a professional partner. Mm -hmm. um, you try out a few people, one thing works, one thing doesn't work, but uh, finally you land somebody that's perfect, um, and Joy and I have that. We've been dancing together as a couple um, for the past six years. So That's great. What styles fantastic. have you been uh, showcasing? West Coast Swing is a lot of it right now because that's a main focus of our studio, so it helps us advertise. Mm -hmm. uh, we do also perform in ballroom and in Latin, all American style. Uh, a lot of salsa. We go to a lot of salsa conventions around um, the United States, and we've also been to Puerto Rico. Uh, we were also invited to perform in Israel for, for the Salsa Con Congress in Israel. That's, that's really great. fantastic. We just got back from a cruise where we were teaching on the cruise line and performing. Uh, with Prairie Home Companion. That was fantastic. That'll be our fourth year doing it. Fantastic. It was pretty wonderful. Well, I am really looking forward to getting lessons from you, Todd. Thank mm -hmm. you for the interview and for your time. My pleasure.